Hey friends, and we're back once again with more Persona 4. Nanako is doing something. Uh, Nanako, you seem to be okay? Um, well... I made flowers at school yesterday. Uh-huh. They said today is Mother's Day. Oh. Oh. My teacher told us that today when you give your mom flowers. Oh, this is very awkward. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. Give them to Tojima, I'm sure. Oh. You can give them to her? Hmm. Altar? Yeah, that. Dad always puts food there. He said it gets to Mom in heaven. Yeah, you can give it to Do you think my flowers will get to her too? Of course. I did a really good job on mine. My teacher said they were pretty too. I wonder if my mom will be happy to get them. You should make a flower too, big bro. Oh god, how did I get conned then into this? We can celebrate Mother's Day together. No. Okay, sounds good. She seems pretty happy. Oh, how to make an origami flower? Cool. We did it. But yeah, so you put. Oh god, head back to your room. Is this gonna put me instantly to sleep? Oh, all right then. What did everyone do? Worked at home, worked at home, worked at home, studied at home, worked at home, worked at home. Spent with Dojima? <gasps> Can we spend time with Dojima? You know what? I have sp stretched myself far too thin doing all of this. Let's try making more money. Let's translate some more. Oh, my tear just squeaked. Mmm. You had a hard time translating this. Okay. You encounter a joke, but you don't understand that you don't understand. What should you do? Make a joke that fits. Okay. You can't come up with a suitable word to use. After all your work, your hand has stopped. Wow. One thousand Fuck. I hate those kind of things. It reminds me of the Sims, where like your Sim gets a chance thing. It's like, do one of the one thing or the other, you get fired and it could be any of you first oh god. You should hurry to school. Shit. So probably hang, hang, oh, probably should have hung out with Dojima. <sighs> hey, Chie. Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. We studied for them. Can't tell you. Do I look like I'm ready? Okay. Okay, then. Well, Chie, I really hope you do better than me. Because I'm probably going to suck real bad. Oh, lordy. I'm somewhat terrified by what this might do. You know, just in general. So, let's see what happens. Midterms, day one. What's it called when muscle grows? Uh, muscle grows after exercise. Uh, fuck! Why can't I remember this? Why? 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 I think it's overgrowth. Damn it! I don't know. Overgrowth. Uh, overcompensation, overexertion, overgrowth. You don't have a good feeling about your answer. Yeah, fuck you. Zero BC, one BC. Hmm. <laughs> oh crap. I believe it was 1 BC, but I could be wrong. Shit, I can't recall anything. Holy fucking shit, what is wrong with me? Like, seriously. Holy fucking crap. I... Oh my god. Uh... I hate everything right now. I hate it so bad. Oh, uh, God. 
lordy. It's just a review of everything. 1 BC, I'm pretty sure. No, 0 BC. <gasps> I believe... Oh, wait. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go with 1 BC. No, I was... You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Good, because I probably fucked up on that stupid bullshit. Fucking swear. How did I forget it? Ah, uh, it was probably not overgrowth. It was overcompensation, wasn't it? Shit. Midterms, day two. Are these types of numbers? Oh, okay, yeah, well, I already know it's marriage. Thank you very much. You feel good? You chose the correct answer. Good, because I suck. Who translated? Oh. Oh, God, no. <laughs> They're changing up the... Uh, I think it was so... Yeah, it's not Sume, right? Ah, oh, thank God. So it's just gonna go straight through the week? Holy shit. Yeah, it just went straight through the week. Oh my God. <sighs> as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. What? Uh, uh, that's a really tough one. Oh my god. Hmm. I guess I'll just guess. I really have no idea. As soon as laws are necessary, when they longer. Oh my god. Yeah, I thought I could do better at this, but I have no freaking clue. Like, ah! I'm gonna tell Kat that I'm really screwing up here. <laughs> and then she'll see it in videos and it'll be like, oh, great. Ah, fucking shit. Mm. Okay, any, mini, miny, oh, catch a tiger by its tail. If it hollers, let it go. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay, I give up. I don't know. Pascal. I don't have a good feeling about that answer. No fucking shit. Which of the following is the highest? Oh, okay. The highest? Oh, shit. Olympus Mons, I believe? That was the other one that they mentioned, right? Okay, good. I don't recall the laws one. I really don't. Because that's like a head scratcher that just came out of nowhere. I'm just like sitting here going, what the hell? I'm probably... Last day of the exams. Last question. Gave you a hard time. You feel you did well. <sighs> Great. So is it gonna be posted? Oh lordy. It's finally over. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Ooh, what a load off. Someone's sending me a file right now. So I might like as well take that over. real quick. And yeah, exams are over. I'm happy. Despite the fact I hey, sucked really down. badly. So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Oh crap, then I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. <laughs> rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? I don't know. All right, I'm giving up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. Oh, goody. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Uh... That. Ah, seriously? I chose the wrong one! <laughs> oh, I put that one too. Good, Yukiko. Whoa, you two? That's probably the right answer. Yeah. <sighs> Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. I probably got a nice big C. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. Ah, one second. I need to. Up. Ah. Need to tell someone I'm recording. Apparently, of course. Being away doesn't mean I'm recording anymore. Case. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. Oh, great. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways. What do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? 
Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow too? I didn't realize you guys would just be going through this shit and go like, yeah. Biker gang? God. Oh yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. Oh my god, just leave me alone. Skype, Jesus. This school are part of it. Anyways, so we have a... Oh, great. Yeah, I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. Oh, no. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Oh, goody. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did... Did you say he was a legend? Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. <laughs> Hmm. Today was the final day of midterms. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. Okay. And what do we have for options here? Hmm? Spend time with Yosuke. Cultural club. A lot of cultural club. Sports club. Cultural club. Hmm. Oh, spent time with Chie. Where is Chie? Okay, we have a lot of options. But tomorrow I'm probably going to go be going into the television. So that's fun. I know we're close to sports club up with social link. How about cultural club? Senpai. Oh. Hmm. Sun Arcana. There's no hit. Okay. All right. Give me a second. I see. Looks a bit sad. God damn it! Why do you always have to make me feel bad? Ah. You okay? Yo! Yosuke wants to go somewhere since you have a a persona of the, you feel you could be closer. Oh my god. <sighs> so much crap. Hmm. See Where the hell is a certain person that I'm looking for? You two! What are you doing? Yo! I just right. You feel race? Okay. Okay, you you're gonna grow you're gonna grow into like three. Where the hell is Chie? Chie! Oh wait, she's up on the roof, that's right. She's usually hanging out on the roof. Is there any way to just go to the roof? Uh oh. I wish I had a chariot persona. I'm gonna have to go and like get a bunch of personas. Just so I can, you know, social link better. God. Yo! Seems to change it. And she has, you feel your recent. Oh, going to become closer soon. Spend the afternoon. Spend some time with Chie, sure. You win you. Uh oh. Yeah, She's happy. Right. Today's the day for what? Ha! Ah, hi, Hanako. Huh? Yo! What are you doing? Good question. Training, of course. Mm. Training. Mm. Who are you fighting with, Chie? Ah, uh, good question. Mm. Myself, <laughs> I guess? Oh. Ooh, a grasshopper. Ah. Uh, Oh, oh, she's freaking out. Of course. Ah! Get it off, get it off. Great. <sighs> to there. She doesn't like bugs, does she? What do you think, creepy or squirmy? Ah. But they're cute. Uh. You're like you. <laughs> oh. It's cute. It's very feminine. Uh, oh god, that would be a sm Uh, we'll go with cute. You don't have enough courage. Damn it. It's very feminine. That That's not true. It's... <laughs> you wanna train too, Nanako? Okay. Yeah. I'll teach you. Oh, great. So, uh, you spent time. You sent Nanaka home before it got dark. Of course. 
Oh. I just gave myself goosebumps. Yeah, that's great. All right. Chie grew to rank three. Thank God. Oh. Yay, good job. Should I perform it? Oh. Laters. Cool, so Chie now has a follow-up in battle, which is great, because that means Yosuke and, oh, you're back. so you're home. The fridge is full of food. Can I have a word with you? Do you go to Junus a lot? Very often. That Sadachi keeps vanishing every now and then again. He's probably slacking off around Junus whenever he does. <laughs> oh. We should be on the lookout, okay. What did everyone do? Made lunch, 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 made lunch. Spent time with Dojima, made lunch. So many different options. Hmm. Er, well, maybe that wasn't the right, okay. Looks perplexed. However, with him, you're, you'll, you're able to talk to him, okay. Oh, ooh. Ah, let's spend some time with Dojima. Ah. Well, then have a seat. Hey. What have you been doing after school? Uh, hanging with friends. Club meetings, working. I've been working, sir. I see. That's pretty responsible for your age. Okay. He's impressed? Oh, good. Whoops, this is turning into interrogation, isn't it? Uh-huh. Do you still suspect me? No. Hmm, okay. Oh god, he's gonna kill us now. Or throw us in jail, one of the two. I'm already tired of hearing Big Bro this and Big Bro that. You're more like a very young brother to me than a son. Okay. Should I, should I call you big bro? <laughs> hey, stop that. Oh, God. Oh, good. Did he actually rank up? Oh, snap. I mean, I'm sure I'm not doing this very well, but you know what? I don't care. Hmm. Don't hit the sack too late, you hear? Okay, no. night. Oh, is it sending dead? Alrighty then. Oh, is it still just cloudy today? Okay then. Oh, wow, just jump straight to class's ending. Have to wait for another rainy night. You recall taking your part time job with Derek Gazen? Okay, yeah. Wait. Was it about the shopping center? Fuck, I did read that far too quickly. Oh, the bus. Sorry. Okay, I see. What did everyone do today? Hmm? Spent? Oh, well, obviously, several of you went and spent it with Adachi. Several of you also went to the daycare center. I guess we should probably go. I'm guessing Adachi is another social link, so I guess it would be a good idea to go and unlock Adachi as a social link. He's probably at the Juness thing. Winner are our scores. Hmm. I wish to know this. I want to know how badly I did at that test. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Hey. What's the matter? Can I help you? What are you doing? Dojima sent me. <laughs> this sucks. Well, obviously, I'm working here. Oh. Oops. Okay, then. That's all I come to ask. I'll hang out with you, too. Oh, that's a little strange. What are you doing here? Killing time? Oh. 
Say that again, it's not so bad. Oh yeah? Really is dead, okay. <sighs> Tracking down a cat, okay. <laughs> they wouldn't let me, okay. Well maybe you shouldn't, uh, maybe you shouldn't go hunting a cat in your suit, huh? They keep ch oh changing procedure on the fly. Sorry. You need to stop spilling that. Aren't you supposed to be a detective and not talking about police activity? Uh. Okay. Well, his is the. Let's see. Yes, I have closer to the truth. What is his? The Jester Arcana. Okay, fitting. He doesn't. He seems to be a bit of a slacker when it comes down to things. Okay. Well, you know. <laughs> what? Is he terrified of old ladies? Okay then. Ooh, that was close. Doesn't seem to want to see that old woman. Okay. See ya. You hurry home too. Okay. All right, we'll do. Weirdo. You watched it. She go back to work, then went home. Okay. Great. After school, evening. I am probably doing really bad at this, and I know people are going to call me out for it. Recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. The hell are you punks doing here? Oh my god. Well, I can already tell. Voice. That's going to be one of our next characters. <laughs> this ain't a show. Get bent. Still up to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. But I thought he'd got into a high school and started attending class. Okay, well, Kanji's here then. <sighs> Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. Oh. <laughs> It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. Okay, good job, Nanako. Are you just going to move me to the next... Wow. <laughs> okay. Go right into it. I haven't leveled at all. This is going to be weird. Whoa, it started raining. I guess the weather report was right. That means the show's probably going to be on tonight. I hope we don't see anyone. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. Okie dokie. Got it? Will do. Hmm. Oh, just move me straight to evening. God damn it. I wanted to go level, but I'm Welcome not good at time home, management. Okay, well then. <laughs> Biker and gang, those words sound pretty cool together. Okay then. Anything in the fridge, nothing catches your eye. Probably should have done that a few other times before. Up. Oh. We'll save there, and I'll worry about the rest of it later. If I screw anything up, well, I'm sure it won't be too bad. I just freak out about, like, time management and shit, but I should be focusing more on the party members and people. I, well, I know Nanako's important, at least, so probably should be hanging out with her, too. But I figure if I can get an easy level, I might as well do the other ones as well. Oh. Who's showing up? A figure appeared. 
It seems to be a man. It was to be like, oh. Ow, oh, come on. How can you not tell? Seriously? Are you that dense? Okay. Should you try calling Yosuke? Call Yosuke. We're friends. He'll understand. Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. Oh, goody. You hung up. You said to go to bed tonight. Okay. Yeah, I, I prefer to go to bed at night. That would be great. Okay, so we're gonna... <clears throat> we will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. <laughs> oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? I really hope so. Do we get a Batmobile too? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, you. I think she was ta uh, she was mocking you, but I could be wrong. Special headquarters. Hmm. That does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> Anyways, as for what was on last night. Did you watch last night? I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? Yep. So that's how I looked on TV. <laughs> hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? Yeah? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my I can case, already the I already see the uh after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. Hmm. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then... He's still safe for now. Uh -huh. I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Probably. Yeah. And if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct, though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person ah, at my fingers time, hurting. we have no choice ah. but to wait and see what happens. Okay, well. That's exactly what we just said. Well, I can already guess that the reason why everyone is ending up on the TV is because they've ended up on Shut TV. Up! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! My, my bunny bone! <laughs> She's gone crazy again. Not again. Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. No, really. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Really? Put two and two together for like once. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think God. about it more tomorrow. Are you gonna s <laughs> She's still, yeah, laughing. When are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. Oh my God, she's crazy. Are you gonna skip straight to evening? You piece of shit. Mm, I want to do other things. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, anyone want to hang out? Or, oh, Vox Populi is not. Ooh, TV overlay. Anyways. Oop. It's a bad influence on Annika. Okay. Nothing catches your eye. Hmm. Okay, do we have rain tomorrow? 
No, we have sun and what looks like fog. I don't know if that would actually technically be fog, but we'll watch the midnight channel and hopefully nothing bizarre will happen. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? Well, let's see. Oh, who's calling now? Hello? Did you see that? Yes, I saw that. It might be Kanji uh, Tatsumi. Okay. Yeah, I think so too. I knew I saw him somewhere. He was on TV. He was on that special news report. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. All right. So we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh my god, seriously? Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but... As long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? Sure, what? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. And? So, uh, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, well, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? D yeah, both! Let's go with both. <laughs> both be there with the... Uh... Uh, we'll go with both. Your understanding has increased. Your understanding has been, oh, from basic to kindly. Yay, I think. <laughs> Seriously? Well, you get a better chance that way. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Sure it is. See you tomorrow. You're going to blur it out tomorrow, aren't you? Son of a bitch. <sighs> okay, so we know it's Kanji now. Because, honestly, we needed the big angry dude in our group. I mean, the Avengers have the Hulk. Why can't we have Kanji, right? The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. Oh, you knew him when he was younger? You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. Of course. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Oh, God, we're... Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. Oh, God. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. What do you want to bet he will? All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Oh, Lordy. Hmm? Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, nod, and away you go. Okay, well. Another police force. What's up with him, weirdo? Uh -huh. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... Hmm, how are we going to explain this to her? <laughs> hey, this scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Hmm. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! Don't yell at Outlaw. That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Maybe. Uh, 
Well, kinda. Eh, a little bit. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Hmm. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Hmm. Okay. This Is could be so? weirder. Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Hmm, good question. Come on, let's talk outside. <sighs> so weren't we here to talk to Kanji? I could have sworn we were here to talk to Kanji. Okay. Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Well, quick, hide! Hide? Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're all... Anyone, you know. <laughs> exactly. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. T tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Hmm. D did, he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? What? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? Oh, hi. Run for it! Oh, God. What the hell? This is bizarre. It scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! The one on TV last night was definitely kanji -kun. Yeah. Hmm. I just realized something. Yes? Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Kanji's a target. They're both targets. Kanji's a target. He's the one who showed up. Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Who's to say that's the pattern? Oh, I still go by the, uh, by the uh, whole situation of them both appearing on television. Therefore, they're person just decided it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did she was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano but I was the one who was targeted does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother but if that's true then the killer's motive makes no sense at all it'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything you think we're on the wrong track Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Hmm. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Oh, I'm totally lost. Okay. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Oh, he'll kill you later. Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Okay. Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. She can sense it, I'm sure. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right. Let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? No. Oh. Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. Oh, sure. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You really sound like a pervert. What? 
Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. <laughs> oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Of course you are. After school and evening again. Oh my god. Yep, I kind of figured though. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hey there, Nanako. Oh, okay. That's not normal, just so we're clear. Nothing catches my eye. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Go to sleep. Wow, okay, that's... I could still work. I still have work ethic. I need to make more money. Ah. Jesus. Has the target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Oh my god, are we spies now? Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break with mother issued rations in hand. Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. Oh, of course. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. You do realize you guys are standing in plain sight, right? Just so we're clear, you're not fully anyone. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh... I just got here too. Hmm, suspicious. What in the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Okay. Roger that. How should we split the teams? Mm, let's go with Yukiko. Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke. We'll go with so Yukiko and with ask you. for her number. Okay. That's good, right? All right. We'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Oh my God, seriously. Uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sure. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go. if those two will be all right. I'm sure they will be. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Hmm? So, shall we? I don't see why not, right? I mean, nothing could possibly go wrong, except for probably dying. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? No worries. I'll protect you. Ah, oh, damn it. Do you think the culprit... God damn it. And we need to keep our eyes open. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean... I'm sure there's something I can do. Is there anything we can do to encourage her? Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I I guess I'm a little nervous. A little. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Really? Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> well, maybe you should do that more often. Hmm? Same is true for me. Oh, there we go, social link. Knew this was coming. And what is her social link? New bond. Sit uh, closer to the truth, blah de blah de blah. Oh, the priestess arcana. Okay, I see. Makes sense to me. 
Cool. Ask her straight out. Huh? Okay, if you want. Can't always answer since I help out around the inn. But feel free to call any time. Good. Well, alright, so did Chie and Yosuke get in trouble? I really suspect that's probably what's happening. Hmm. Are you serious? Oh my god, you two. Man, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, we definitely stand out. No shit. No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Oh, we're pretty good. Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Damn it, he knew it. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Oh, great. Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Yes, okay, you, you, you let this go. I will cut out your tongue, just so we're clear. Now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're, we're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? No, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Pure coincidence. Just by the fact that we were standing around. We were also following you behind you, by the way. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Oh, yeah. Real smooth. Um, look. We weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. Oh, real smooth. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! <laughs> now you're just gonna run. Say what you think. Uh, you got it all wrong. Hey, are you listening, damn it? Are we really chasing them around in circles? Is this seriously it a thing? seriously ain't like that. <laughs> Great, we good job. to inform that our mission failed. What a surprise. There was nowhere to hide. Hmm. Good job, you two. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yeah. Speak of the devil. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? What the hell's going on? No, about that. You're about to be sucked into the TV. I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, but damn it! What? Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? Other than us following you, that is, of course. What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, no, no. I, I didn't mean. You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! No. Oh. What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! <laughs> I guess he just hit something on the way out, of course. Uh, oh, too much running. You just might die, Chi. I understand. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Okie dokie. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. <sighs> this possibly couldn't get any worse, I'm sure. And Teddy, get out of the goddamn TV. Yeah. Start raining. I hope you don't get wet out there. Oh God! Wait, it started raining. Oh Jesus! 
Nothing catches your eye. Of course, there's no Vox Populi, so that tells me already that there's... Rest, sure. Wait, it started raining. Doesn't that mean... Your phone is ringing. Hello? Hello? It's Yukiko. I'm sorry to call so late. Um, Kanjikun seems to be missing. Oh, great. I had some calls to make for the end, so I called the textile shop as well. When I spoke to Kanjikun's mother, she told me that he left the house and hasn't returned since. She did say that this happens all the time, but... What do you think? Well, that sounds... This sounds bad. I think so too. He could be. It's going to rain again tonight. Maybe the midnight channel will come on. Then we'll know for sure if something happened to Kanjikun or not. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. Okay, so Kanji's now missing. Oh no. Please don't tell me his... I, I really am terrified as to what his alternate personality or his shadow might be. Oh god, it's actually... Oh. You see something on the screen. The image is clear and sharp. What? Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. <sighs> oh, dear God. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Woo! Well then. Let's get this okay. show on the road. Things are starting to make sense. Alrighty then. I, I can understand why there was that whole thing with the strange and the whole guy getting interested in him. I understand that. But my god, that was definitely what, where I was thinking it was going to go. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It really was, Kanji. Oh, don't sigh, Jesus. Look like a bathhouse. Great. You decide to go to bed. Wonderful. So I'm guessing we have our next dungeon on our hands, and I'm vastly underleveled. From what I can tell, just based on Yukiko. Well, okay then. It is time to end this episode. I am calling it. I have been recording for several hours now, so I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I was not expecting that of Kanji. Oh well.